what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the best defensive abilities currently in mutt 24 for you guys to be using this is for season three we will update you when season four comes out or if any meta shifts on the abilities that you should be using two things to point out number one the website that we're going to be using for this video is mutt.gg specifically this page mutt.gg slash abilities always encourage you to check this one out when you're looking for information regarding abilities and yesterday we put out a video going over the best abilities to be using on offense right now we're going to link that video down below in the comment section as a pinned comment so if you missed it make sure you go check it out we broke it down by positional group yesterday on offense we're kind of going to keep that same format for defense but i think we need to start out with clearly and easily the best ability on defense is going to be lurk artist which is a new ability now unfortunately if you're on old gen system systems I don't think this one is available to you but essentially this has replaced lurker and it's a combination of lurker plus pick artist i also don't want you to make the mistake because believe it or not i've had a lot of people say this to me that they're running lurker on certain players for 2 ap when they can get on that same player lurk artist for 1 ap which is a much better ability uh, basically this one to keep it simple it makes linebackers jump that's always been the big issue for like the last four to seven years and it's a pretty big time span there but uh, linebackers just stop jumping after a certain period and that's why a lot of people would run sub linebackers and put safeties out there as their users because they would get those jumping animations for interceptions and that's not only just when they're controlled by the you know a human it's also with the CPU so lurk artist essentially is going to give you those jumping animations with linebackers but also when the ball is like tipped or whatever you know it will light up and you'll get the pick artist side of it as well hence why it's called lurk artist so just overall a really good ability two players in the game that get it for zero ap ray lewis and josh allen very expensive cards uh, otherwise pretty much anybody who can get it gets it for one ap so i would encourage you to have this on at least one middle linebacker uh, on your team in my personal opinion pick artist is going to be the second best ability and if you can get this on as many defensive backs as possible i would try to do that we are going to talk about obviously other abilities that you could be rocking but you do have nine ap available on defense right now there's a few players and we're starting to see more over the last two weeks again very expensive cards but you can see sean taylor gets it for one ap richard sherman three mil on that card way too expensive uh but his 93 overall is going to get it for one ap the 92 gets it for one ap as well a little bit less better of a card but still 900k fairly expensive and then Deron Bland gets it because it's a record breaker card for him having so many pick sixes. He gets it for zero AP. But all of those cards, excluding Sean Taylor, very expensive. The one thing I really love about pick artists is that it almost makes shorter defenders get taller and they get these animations where they're going to jump up and get the interceptions you can see it light up simply because they have pick artists on there it just definitely helps with the dropped interceptions it's sad that we play a game where we need an ability for our defenders to catch the football but it does make the easy catches happen and it makes some of the more difficult catches happen as well when you're on defense and it definitely helps you get a lot more interceptions so if you can afford this on at least two of your defensive backs i would recommend that me i personally play a lot of man coverage that includes my safety so i have this on my players like ronnie lott in the past cd deuce gets a ton of interceptions for me with pick artists lit up on that one so i definitely recommend it the third one is inside stuff now this one can be countered and if you guys did not know and I might put out like a small tutorial over on my gameplay channel eventually on this. You can counter inside stuff by double teaming that player that has it on your uh, opponent's defense. But inside stuff is great. It totally will shut down halfback dives inside zones. And I am a player who runs a lot of dollar, which gives me only three down linemen. And when people see that, they're going to attack it and try to run. I can't tell you how many times inside stuff is essentially saved the day with guys like William Ruff refrigerator perry mean joe green gilbert brown just to name a few john randall there's some really inexpensive cards out there that get it vita vea is another one that was just totally dominant for me so inside stuff if you run a lot of dollar or three down linemen you know like a nickel three three 
I almost feel like it's a must. So this is definitely two of the nine AP that I spend. I spend another six on pick artists and then one more on lurk artists. That's how I have it set up. So again, two inside stuff, six on pick artists among my DBs and then one on a lurk artist on a linebacker. Those are probably the best three abilities on defense in my opinion, but one that's definitely going to be in the conversation very soon and probably already is. You can see here, mutt.gg ranks it as an elite ability. It's going to be deep out zone KO. If you played Madden 23, you knew how OP this ability was. It is still very good. The only problem is it's very, very expensive. Isaiah Pacheco, which is a one and a half million coin card, is the first player to get it at a discount for two AP. The majority of the players after that, it's either going to be three or four. So again, it's really expensive, but this one does give you a ton of knockouts now there is an ability that basically combines deep out zone ko and deep in zone ko and the difference between the two is the deep out is outside of the hash marks the deep in is inside of the hash marks um so it really depends on kind of what you're noticing your opponents run a lot if you notice they throw to the outside of the hash marks you're going to go with deep out zone ko but there is that free darren woodson the 91 overall from the season three field pass he basically gets both of those together. The ability is named something else, but if you read the description, it works. So if you get that card unlocked, I think it's level 35. It is a really good safety to have if you play a lot of zone coverage on your high safeties. I personally play a ton of man coverage, so I stay away from these ones, but towards the end of last year, you know, I had this on like four different players. So as we start to see the meta change, if zone becomes more effective, then we see more deep in and deep zone, uh, deep out zone KO players get more discounted abilities or get those abilities discounted. You know, I'll shift my play style of that, but a really good ability just at this point, still very expensive AP wise. You can always check out some of the other abilities that are zone KOs like mid zone KO. There's a flat zone zone KO these really and you have to read the description but like the mid zone KO is basically inside the numbers between 10 and 20 yards the flat zone KO is between 0 and 10 yards so you know if you're having trouble stopping those areas of the field when it comes to your opponent passing and you don't do run a lot of zone you can check those out if you run a lot of man like me and I honestly haven't tested these out that much but you have like the short medium uh, you have short route KO medium route KO and deep route KO these are going to be the same thing but for man coverage. So you can see here, medium route KO, defenders with this ability for force, force more catch knockouts in man-to-man -man versus medium routes 10 to 20 yards from the line of scrimmage. And as huddle.gg or mutt.gg says over on the right here, the majority of the man-beating routes are going to fall in that 10 to 20 yard range. There's no players that get this ability discounted right now. So you're going to have to spend mostly 3 AP to get it. That's why I'm staying away from it. But this also has the potential to be a really good ability once we start to see more players get it discounted. We already mentioned inside stuff. Let's end the video with a couple defensive align abilities, and that's going to be for DTs and defensive ends, as well as outside linebackers and pass rushers. Run stopper is good. The only problem is it's not good enough to spend two AP. So if you really don't have anything else available to you, like inside stuff or some of the other things we're about to talk about in a moment, run stopper is good against the run. I would only personally use it if it was one AP and I only had like one AP available on defense. I might, you know, uh, run into using it at that point, but it's almost like a great value version of uh, inside stuff, if you will. Some of the other abilities that are better on the defensive line, pass rush is just not that good this year at the end of the day. The best way you can try to get a good pass rush is the combination of two different things, but I still think things like deep out zone KO and pick artists and lurk artists are going to be need to be prioritized over these, but defensive rally is pretty good. There's nobody that gets it at a discount, but you do have a few players that get it for 2 AP. Defenders with this ability will grant bonus pass rush points to all defensive linemen on any third or fourth down. So basically having this on one of your DTs or DNs or outside linebackers is going to boost your entire pass rush on the most critical downs in football, third and fourth down. So this one is always good. As we see more people get it discounted, it might become more prevalent. 
the one combination that I do see people talking about and running is having that defensive rally and having that combined with double or nothing, which has always been a really good ability. This one breaks down to ability points as well. Pass rushers with this ability must spend double the pass rush points to perform a move, but are granted more dominant wins. Basically, there's like blocker resistance and it's a whole point system. We don't really know the ins and outs of it specifically, but double or nothing has been pretty good since it was introduced. And that combined with defensive rally is not a bad combination. But again, we're just getting too expensive here with these three and four ability point abilities when you can have other things like pick artists and lurk artists and things of that nature that are two AP. So that's a good pass rush combination. But to me, it's just simply not going to be worth it. And I know this entire video is about the best abilities. I just want to point out uh, that I would stay away from like edge threat. I know that sounds really good and it's been good in prior years. I'm trying to find it here, but both edge threat and edge threat elite, which I don't even think could be unlocked yet here. They just, they're just not as good as they were in years past, even against non-edge protector left and right tackles which i don't think anybody's using right now last year it was pretty much a must to have those abilities on your your tackles now it's not even a thought because edge threat and just pass rush in general that you're just going to get it organically right there's some blitzes that'll get home with cornerbacks and defensive backs but just getting natural sheds does not happen often and there's just not many abilities so don't waste your ability points on edge threat and that's it those are the best abilities you should be using on defense right now if there's any that i left off the list let me know down below in the comment section and thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace